So besides a trusty cast iron skillet, my other favorite thing to accompany in the kitchen is a strong cocktail. And that cocktail is only made better with one of my other favorite ingredients, bacon. So the first step to making a bacon old fashioned is we gotta start out by infusing our bourbon with that delicious smoky bacon flavor. So I've cooked up about five strips of bacon in a cast iron skillet, and I just wanna take the drippings from that bacon and add it into a bowl here. Next up, we're gonna take a whole bottle of bourbon, yep, it's a whole bottle, and add that to the bacon drippings. We'll just take some plastic wrap. I just wanna cover this, and the key is we wanna allow this to sit out at room temperature for 24 hours. Then after that, we're gonna pop it in the freezer for at least five to six hours up to overnight. Now, you might have to wait a day, a day and a half, but for me, I'm ready to drink right now. Once this comes out of the freezer, basically what you wanna do is just skim off that top layer of fat. And then next, I'm just gonna stream the bourbon through a cheesecloth and a wire strainer to make sure we catch everything out of it. Now that we've infused our bourbon with bacon, it's time to put together one of my favorite cocktails, a bacon old fashioned. So we're gonna put this together by taking just one cube of sugar, and I like to add about a teaspoon of water you could also use club soda. And then to that, just a couple dashes of some bitters. Next up, we're gonna muddle this all together. From there, I really like to kind of just swirl this mixture around the outside of the glass. And then to finish it off, just a big old cube of ice. And then that bacon infused bourbon. Hey, I'm kind of a three finger high bourbon kind of guy. I'm just gonna garnish it with a couple slices of orange peel, some cherries, and of course, you can't have a bacon old-fashioned without a slice of bacon. Cheers, y'all.